Now try into frequency of 141.12. One uh, Zombots, this is your master speaking. Everyone, I don't know, look east. Now try in frequency of 141.13. One uh, this is so tedious! I should have rigged an automated version to play for the face ship! Wideband broadcasts have had no effect. We agreed on a tight band. The localized attempt was the best next step. Don't get passive aggressive with me. If you're going to ride my coattails, then you better have my back. All I'm saying, sir, is that in hindsight, it would have been smart to have a failsafe for the metal virus mutating beyond your control. Is it really my fault when my creations exceed my expectations? Hmm. Maybe we're going about this the wrong way. What about your special gemstone? The warp topaz. Indeed! You were able to warp space-time to create portals with just a small electrical charge! Imagine what I could do if I hooked it up to the Chaos Emeralds aboard the face ship! Absolutely not! When I found it, the warp topaz responded strongly, even to the most passive of energy waves. In my early experiments, anything above a light, controlled charge resulted in extreme reality alteration. It can be a useful tool when used properly, but what you're proposing is exceedingly dangerous. It'll be fine. We just have to be cautious. Cautious? You're anything but cautious. You have yet to inoculate us to the metal virus. <laughs> Shows what you know. There is no vaccine. Then, but how are you going to protect us from the infection? By not touching the Zombots, duh. What if there was a spill on the face ship, or a mishap on the field, or a mutator becomes airborne? You've exceeded my threshold for nitpicking, Doctor. It's not nitpicking, it's common sense! You'll shut your bill or I'll staple it shut! Aw, oh, is the honeymoon over already? Oh, ho, 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 ho. If it isn't patient zero! Have you enjoyed watching my unbeatable plan unfold? For once, I'm going to skip the banter. You're going to tell me right here, right now. Why did you do it? <laughs> what? I've been trying to take over the world for years. You know that. You've been underfoot this entire time. I mean going back to the mad scientist shtick. Sure, Dr. Fashion Disaster over there gave you back your memories. But you chose to go back to your old ways. What was wrong with being like Mr. Tinker? That's not who I am. Not be him, be like him. Oh, what? You want me to be a charitable goody two-shoes? Fixing doorknobs and building toys? Living on grateful smiles, listening to children's laughter day in, day out. Making things people need and use. Life was relaxing, but I'm doing something better. I'm bringing peace and unity to the world and providing it with my brilliant guidance. No, you're not. Agree to disagree. You know, we're not that different, you and I. We both have our own styles that we won't change. Yeah, but yours is evil and mine's not. Again, agree to disagree. I'm running out of time, and I'm totally out of patience. You're going to reverse the metal virus or else... Or else what? You can't stop me! No one can! The metal virus's infection is spread exponentially! I couldn't stop it now even if I wanted to! All that's left is to find a way to command the Zombots, and then I will finally rule the world! Fine! Tails will handle it. 
and I'll handle you! <laughs> One last battle before you're my Zomba slave! One last butt kicking before we lock you away forever! Here it is, the scene that I've dreamed of seeing firsthand, and all I feel is apathy. Neo Metal Sonic nearly succeeded in reviving the Eggman Empire, but he acted too brashly. He thought overwhelming power would win the day without a proper plan. I thought it was because he had been designed as a counter to Sonic, a ballistic missile with a built-in grudge. But the first bio data that he downloaded was Eggman's, and here we are, seeing the same exact brute force strategy. I got lost in a pageantry of his showmanship. I was inspired by Eggman's legend. The man simply doesn't measure up. 